to move people by being moved, the greatest job in the world. It's just that from now on, I may be holding a different talking stick, and maybe it won't be as sparkly, maybe it won't open on 3,000 screens, maybe it will be so quiet and delicate that only dogs can hear it whistle, but it will be my writing on the wall. Jodie Foster was here, I still am, and I want to be seen, to be understood deeply, and to be not so very lonely. Thank you, all of you, for the company. Here's to the next 50 years. Hollywood A-listers are wheeling and dealing as our glamorous party rages on. Plus, which television comedy or musical will take the big award? The Golden Globes on NBC. Film the call, Halle Berry. Five remarkable filmmakers are nominated as Best Director, including two past winners for direction and two winning screenwriters. Let's find out who will take home the Golden Globe tonight. Here are the nominees. For Argo, Ben Affleck. For Zero Dark Thirty, Catherine Bigelow. For Life of Pi, Ang Lee. For Lincoln, Steven Spielberg. And for Django Unchained, Quentin Tarantino. And the Golden Globe goes to Ben Affleck, Argo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, I, 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 look, I don't care what the award is, uh, when they put your name next to the names that she just read off, it's an extraordinary thing in your life. These nominees are, are exceptional talents. I truly, to God, never thought I would be in the same breath as them. I want to thank them. I want to thank, I want to thank the many talented people uh, that weren't nominated. Um, I don't remember the people that weren't nominated. Uh, 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 Paul Thomas Anderson, who's like, I think, you know, like Orson Welles. Uh, you know, there's so, so many others. Um, really, this award is, is about Tony Mendez. You saw him up here earlier. He's an American hero. He represents the clandestine service and, as well as the foreign service that is making sacrifices on the behalf of Americans every day. Our troops serving overseas, I want to thank them very much. Round of applause. Um, I got to thank the, the uh, people from Warner Brothers who, get, who gave me a shot. Jeff Robinoff gave me a shot without any cause to. Two shots, in fact. Um, I'm still trying to blow it, believe me. Um, I got to thank Sue Kroll, who's amazing. She's a wizard. She can do anything. I got to thank uh, uh, Barry and, and Jeff Bucus. Um, I got to say that uh, I thank my agent, Patrick Weitzel, who was with me when I was like a nobody, you know what I mean? And then when I was a somebody, and then when I was a little bit of trouble, <laughs> uh, he stuck with me then, too. We're trying to put it back together, so thank you, Patrick. I appreciate that. Um, I really have to thank, you know, uh, the cast and crew for this movie. I had an amazing cast. They were extraordinary. The crew is incredibly gifted. I had, I know, hold on one second. And, uh, but Chris Terrio, who wrote the script, is really, I feel, the reason why the movie works. Chris, you're a brilliant guy. I think he's the best writer around. I admire you enormously. Um, I want to thank um, oh, Alan, who greenlit the movie. Thank you, Alan. Um, and also, I just want to thank... Um, my three kids, um, uh, Violet, I'm going to forget their names, Violet, Sarah, and Sam, uh, I love you guys, and I want to thank my wife, who's the reason I'm standing here, I adore you, I love you so much, thanks for sitting through this, you're my everything, thank you, thank you all very much. Currently on the big screen in Gangster Squad, Josh Brolin. Congratulations. Uh, it's the summer of 1965 on an island off the coast of New England. Two 12-year-olds fall in love, make a secret pact, and run away together into the wilderness. Soon the peaceful island community is turned upside down, and the core of humanity is explored and revealed in a way only great comedies can. This is Moonrise Kingdom. 
What kind of bird are you? Dear Suji, here's my plan. Dear Sam, my answer is yes. Dear Suji, one. Dear Sam, where? Shukuski, you in there? Jiminy Cricket, he flew the coop. Between them, they own two hours of late night television and 51 cars. Please welcome Jay Leno and Jimmy Fallon. Winning a Golden Globe can propel an artist's career forward, catapulting them toward new and exciting career paths. Or it could convince them to stay right where they are and keep doing exactly what they're doing. Or could could give them a little the little push they need to move on and give someone else a chance at the spotlight. Or maybe there's a chance in hell that's never going to happen. <laughs> We're still talking about the Golden Globes, right? And the nominees are... The Big Bang Theory. Episodes. Girls. Modern Family. Smash. And the Golden Globe goes to... Girls HBO! Accepting the Golden Globe for Girls is star and executive producer, already a winner tonight, Lena Dunham. for our team. <laughs> um, I'm standing here with the greatest collaborators anyone could ever ask for. I've told you about Jenny and Judd and Eileen, who are my film school and my family, the cast, who've shown me the meaning of bravery and nakedness, both emotional and physical. Um, uh, sorry, and just, um, I want to thank our crew, who we love so much, who we couldn't do this without, who have made me feel like I would know what it was like to have an actually good time at summer camp. Um, I love you all more than I can say. HBO, we are cultists, we're obsessed with you. Um, you were insane enough to give me this opportunity and I can't believe it. The Hollywood Foreign Press for recognizing us in this way. I love being in a room with people who love movies and television so much. Um, it took a village to raise this very demented child and I hope everyone who was involved feels thanked every single day. Uh, on the last round, I forgot to thank Jody Gottlieb and Jen Ye, and I didn't think I would have the chance to fix it, but I did. <laughs> I also promised myself that if I ever got this chance, I would thank Chad Lowe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just promised, and I promised my mom. <laughs> Making this show and the response to it has been the most validating thing that I have ever felt. It's made me feel so much less alone in this world. I can't define it. Thank you. Do you guys want to make a sound? Yeah. Up next, the award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Comedy or Musical, the Golden Globes on NBC. Gentlemen, Golden Globe winner, Christian Bale.
a, uh, a bipolar football fan, obsessed with getting his life back together, a sexy, soulful, troubled young widow who just wants to compete in a dance contest, a bookmaking father who bets on them both to win. These are just some of the ingredients in my friend David O. Russell's wildly powerful and triumphant film about all the ups and downs of life and about finding your silver lining. With four nominations tonight, this is Silver Lining's Playbook. Amen. You have poor social skills. You have a problem. I have a problem? You say more inappropriate things than appropriate things. Hey! Whoa, hey! Why don't you run somewhere else? There's tons of roads to run in. What are you trying to do? I like this road. This is my neighborhood. Oh, come on, please! Calm down, crazy. I've been on the that's right, you are why I'm the reason happened. why today happened. I think so. Let's talk about that. Be my guest. Do you feel that? That's emotion. Please welcome Golden Globe winner Jennifer Garner. Before I present the award, my husband forgot a couple of people. Um, Grant Hetzloff and George Clooney, without whom he could not have made the movie The Best Producers in the World, and he asked me to, um, to mention that. Thank you, Grant and George. Got okay. And now, the nominees for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Comedy, or Musical gave performances that any actor can appreciate, admire, and perhaps even envy. Here are the nominees. Jack Black, Bernie. Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings Playbook. Hugh Jackman, Les Miserables. Ewan McGregor, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. Bill Murray, Hyde Park on Hudson. And the Golden Globe goes to Hugh Jackman, Les Miserables. Somehow, for the How was I to know that so much was But his past is gone. Now we are. Wow. Wow, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, thank you, Hollywood. Sorry, I have, I'm, I'm tail end of this flu, and I was kicking myself for not getting the flu shot, but it appears actually you don't need one. I feel great. Uh, and by the way, I just have to say uh, to the guy or girl who stole the wheels off my bike while I was auditioning for Les Miserables, we're all good. We're good. Uh, keep them. In fact, I'm going to put the frame in exactly the same spot and take it on Monday morning, all right? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Les Miserables is a, a project of passion. It took a lot of courage uh, to make it. And I want to thank Adam, Donna, Ron at Universal, Tim and Eric and Deborah at Working Title, Cameron McIntosh. Thank you for taping, taking the leap. Thank you for hiring the visionary Tom Hooper. Without you, mate, I would not be standing here. I can promise you that. Thank you for hiring just simply the most amazing cast in the world. Annie, Sasha, Helena, you're here, Russell, Eddie, Amanda, wrap it up. Okay, let's get to the business. Thank you, cast and crew. My wife, I've got to tell you, a lot of you know my wife. She's the greatest woman in the world. And if I forget to mention anyone, babe, can you come up and thank them after? That'd be great. <laughs> Tom, I have never told you this. Three weeks before we started filming, we had a terrible day of rehearsal. A humiliating day, you'll remember it. I came home to Deb and I said, it's time. I've got to ring him, I've got to tell him there's someone else to play this role. Uh, I, I really thought I'd take a bit off more than I could chew. My wife talked me off that cliff like she talks me most days. Baby, I, I'm going to say it now in front of the entire world. Thank you for always being right, baby. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, Hollywood Foreign Press. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Hollywood wants to know which movie will win Best Motion Picture Comedy or Musical. The 70th edition of the Golden Globes continues right here on NBC.